In this How to Get the Best Weapons and Armor and Biomutant Guide, I'll be showing you everything you could possibly need to know about how to get good equipment and how to make it even better once you get it. If you've been wondering what sort of customization is available in Biomutant in this area, then you'll definitely want to watch through this video. Weapons and Armor in Biomutant function a bit differently than most RPGs and actually work somewhat similarly to the way they do in Fallout 4. While not entirely the same, this simple comparison is enough to give you the general concept of how this functions in a nutshell. However, I'm not here to give you a vague idea of how this works, so let's jump into armor first and see exactly how it works in Biomutant. In Biomutant, you'll have seven slots for armor, a head, face, torso, right shoulder, left shoulder, back, and legs. However, you cannot modify back or face armor nor upgrade it, and instead must find or purchase the best ones you can. You can equip any armor you acquire, but some armor has level requirements, some has attribute requirements, and some have both. You will not be able to equip a piece of armor if you do not meet all of its requirements. The better the armor, the higher these requirements generally are. This prevents you from becoming too OP early on should you find some really good gear, and also means where you spread your attribute points will dictate some of the gear you can use. Every piece of armor in Biomutant has three qualifiers that define it, rarity, quality, and material. Rarity in Biomutant is a summation of the quality material and add-ons of the weapon or armor in question. That is to say, the better the weapon or armor is, the higher its rarity will be. And since you can increase the quality of material and add-ons of your gear, the rarity of your equipment will increase as you progress the game. That doesn't mean you cannot find or buy higher rarity items, because you can. It just means that a lot of equipment can become ultimate with enough upgrading. Armor protects you from non-hazardous damage and can be obtained from looting enemies, looting chests and containers, or by purchasing it from vendors around the game. You cannot craft armor directly, but instead must acquire it and then modify it by upgrading it or slotting add-ons into it. Note that increasing your loot chance will make you more likely to find higher rarity armor. As you progress in Biomutant, you will undoubtedly pick up various armors and add-ons you can slot into those armors. Add-ons provide increased stats in some way, whether higher critical chance, more armor, or increased resistances. Larger pieces of armor generally have more add-on slots, but this is not true 100% of the time. You do not need to be at a gear upgrade bench in order to slot add-ons. You can actually do it anywhere by going to the craft tab in your menu. Here you need only select the slot, then the item you wish to modify. Select the add-on and then place it in the preferred slot as long as you have sufficient parts. If you don't, you won't be able to do this and you may need to dismantle some armor or find some around the landscape. Though you can slot add-ons on the fly, you will need to locate a gearware upgrade bench in order to improve the quality or material of your armor. Once there, you will select the slot and the specific armor piece you wish to modify. This will cost you parts, just like the add-ons, and will increase the stats of the armor piece. If you increase the quality of material high enough, the rarity of the item will increase. You'll have to make choices about which armor to use and where to spend your upgrade parts in order to succeed, and this is not always easy to do. One piece of advice? Always hang on to your parts until you are absolutely sure what you want to do. In Biomutant, you'll be able to equip one ranged weapon and one melee weapon at the same time. This allows you to switch between melee and ranged combat at will when you're fighting and adds fluidity. Additionally, you can unlock dual wielding for both ranged and melee weapons if you prefer this style of play. Weapons work in a somewhat similar nature to armor, but there are some key differences. First, there are actually two different types of weapons in Biomutant, and those are unique weapons that cannot be modified and regular weapons that only exist as a sum of their parts. Some examples of unique weapons are the Clonk Fist and the Myriad Boomerang. Neither of these weapons can be modified with add-ons nor upgraded with better quality or materials. Some examples of regular weapons are the Kane Strong Box and the Singularity Squeeze Rapster which are essentially named via the combination of their parts, much like how Fallout 4 named its weapons. For now, let's focus on these weapons because they will be the vast majority of weapons you will use in Biomutant. Weapons fall into subcategories inside their melee and ranged categories as well. For instance, there are one-handed melee, guns, two-handed melee, and rifles. You can dual wield one-handed weapons with the right perk, and the same is true for guns. And some weapons, like rifles, have automatic and non-automatic variants, which is important because some perks only affect certain types of ranged weapons, so you'll need to pay attention. Much like armor, weapons also have rarity, quality, and material, and these improve in the same manner with a weapon upgrade bench needed to improve the material or quality of the weapon, along with the necessary parts. You are more likely to find rare weapon pieces if you have a high loot chance, so keep this in mind and consider increasing your luck when you level up since this affects this stat. All weapons have at least one add-on slot unless they are unique weapons, and these can improve the stats of the weapon in various ways. These can be slotted at any time provided you have the right parts. And some weapons have bonus effects like the strong box, which heals you when you kill enemies with it, and others have other damage types like radioactivity. Unlike armor in Biomutant, you will find weapons that are already put together much less often. Instead, you will likely loot pieces of weapons that can be assembled to create different combinations of weapons. 
Which pieces you use will determine the stats of the weapon, with better pieces making more powerful weapons. And just like armor, these generally require a higher level or some attribute requirements that must be met. You can craft two different types of weapons, and those are melee weapons and ranged weapons, and this can be done at any time from the craft tab in your menu. In order to make a melee weapon, you minimally need to combine one handle and one base type. That is to say, you cannot wield just a handle or a base type, but must have both for it to be considered a melee weapon. In order to make a ranged weapon, you minimally need a base type, a grip, and a muzzle. You cannot produce a ranged weapon that you can wield unless you have all three of these things, but there are other things you can add to improve your ranged weapon, such as a stock or magazine. Like armor, you will need enough crafting parts in order to construct any weapon, and the number and type of parts needed will vary from piece to piece. Note that you can swap out pieces of a weapon for ones that are better at any time as long as you have the parts, and that you can add things like a stock and magazine later on, and they do not need to be crafted at the same time a weapon is created. That's all for our weapons, armor, and crafting guide, and I hope you've gained some valuable insight into how these things work in Biomutant so that you're better prepared for launch in just a couple weeks' time. Biomutant truly has a rich and rewarding crafting system, but it can be extremely overwhelming early on, and this can lead to less enjoyment than desire. If you still have questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I will do my very best to answer them, and keep an eye out for our streams as we approach launch. And for all other inquiries, be sure to check out the Biomutant Wiki.